So we have this news courtesy of ESPN regarding UFC star John Jones and his arrest for a misdemeanor domestic violence charge in Las Vegas. Before we get into the story, this is why I want to point this out mainly because in my life, I have kind of generally been the person that a lot of people would come to to ask for advice, especially when I was working, you know, a few companies ago, that was a fairly kind of clout notoriety, uh, yeah, a, a pretty much a clout noty, yeah? a clout not, not, uh, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, a job that had a lot of clout, right? That a lot of people kind of wanted to get, a, a, lot, a, lot, a job that kind of gave me a lot of social capital, a job that people were impressed by when I mentioned it at a bar and pub and um, or when I went out and stuff. And at that time, people would ask me, oh, wow, you're doing all this stuff. You're running marathons. You're reading four books a month. You're learning a language. Da, 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 da. How do you do it? How do you do it? How do you do it? I want to do it. I want to do it to myself. And I'd be very resistant to kind of giving people advice because generally I know how much of a fuck up I am and I know how much of a piece of shit I am and the stuff that I've done in my life and still do in my life that are quite destructive and probably don't lead me to making the best decisions in the things that I want to do in my career. And I don't know if I want to kind of progress and get to a level that I really want to get to. I'm going to have to make some kind of real decisions in terms of how I live my life in general and kind of put some stuff to the side that I'm probably not willing to put aside just yet, but I know I have to do it. And I know that that no amount of advice and someone sitting me down and telling me is going to change that so if i know that i'm quite strong-willed and i'm quite driven and i can't even listen to advice i very much doubt somebody that needs somebody else to listen to will do the same thing because again i'm a self-starter i don't ever go to people to ask for advice i read books i watch stuff online documentaries interviews right wherever reading my own novels autobiographies my non-fiction my fiction i'm doing all that stuff i'm doing the reading i'm doing analysis i'm studying whatever i can study it's all kind of you know autodidact stuff I'm self-studying everything that i can do um but i'm not going out and seeking advice from i'm not offering hey man do you know how to do this how do i do that no 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 i don't give a shit um, i just kind of know what needs to be done i know what my heroes and my idols i've kind of look up to have done in the past and i try and replicate that in my own way that's basically it but some people do need that helping and doing a bit of advice in order to kind of get to where they need to get to and then there's some people that just don't ever get there but they kind of succeed this in spite of their mistakes. And some people, for the most part, most people aren't as lucky as John Jones and you don't succeed. You keep making the mistakes and you keep falling and you keep going back to where you were before that you don't like, but you never ever progress in life. It never gets any better for you. So I think with the John Jones example, he's succeeding despite his obvious mishaps and his, his deficiencies and stuff. But I think it's also a solid and reminder to most people that that's why seeking advice and hoping for a lightning bolt to hit your head or go into a conference or whatever um listening to a self-help guru all these kind of things or even reading books like i do won't do anything until you decide yourself to make a change and john jones has had many opportunities he's had many quote-unquote wake-up calls where he could suddenly turn his life around but he's more kind of obsessed with presenting an image like he's a good person which a lot of people do nowadays especially on social media everyone wants to pretend on social media and act like a good person retweeting liking something sharing a blackout square all this nonsense instead of actually doing the thing because it's much harder to do right i had people on my on my flipping podcast complaining ranting and raving at me that i was kind of misreporting the news on gabby petito that young girl unfortunately who disappeared and was unfortunately found dead and maybe not accurately describing the situation and the disparity in terms of reporting from you know um people from uh minority communities going missing and people vis-a-vis -vis white people in the united states all this malarkey again like i'm a news flipping platform which i'm not i'm just a podcast guy chatting shit into a microphone but still those people that are complaining to me that i'm not reporting it accurately or i'm saying the wrong things go on their platforms go on their social media feeds or whatever access to whatever internet they have are they doing the thing that they want to see being done in the world are they trying to rewrite the wrongs are they sharing cases of unreported um or kind of yeah underreported um instances of people going missing from minority from minority places no they're not they'd much rather point the finger and say oh this person isn't doing that than do it themselves because again that's easier to do than actually doing the work than maybe setting up a charity going and handing out leaflets talking to somebody in your local community and see how you can impact change no let's just go and point the finger and John Jones is the same thing he's more worried about letting you know he's a Christian born again wearing a jumper talking all calm and measured just the other, just before this the other week he was talking about how oh, he changed and 
and he's trying to be a different person but he's also trying to be a bit controversial so he can stir up some debate and get himself in the headlines all this sort of stuff and then wow he does get himself in the headline with something that might be innocuous who knows it might just be like a, a lover's tiff you know people you know get charged and arrested for domestic violence all the time it's sad it's out of order but it does happen a lot in relationships and you'd imagine with John Jones being a UFC fighter I would imagine people that have that sort of profession there is a likelihood if you you know marry somebody or in relationship with somebody that essentially gets to go, go into a cage and you know essentially have permission to kill somebody in a combat fight that maybe there might be an opportunity for that sort of stuff to happen because you know whatever cte and all that stuff cool i understand but still he keeps making the same mistake again and again and again it never keeps changing but he still keeps um succeeding quote unquote in his, his career and i think most people are like this most people just kind of figure stuff out in life and they figure out how to survive and get by despite their shortcomings and that's why i don't like to for advice in general when it comes to things i think people just need to let the penny drop for themselves need to figure out on their own regard uh, and there's nothing you or i can say to somebody that's going to suddenly make them you know and um, turn a new little leaf i know most people have that friend in your social group who always has a woe is me story is always a victim it's never their fault you try and help them out trying to make them understandable trying to make them be a bit self-aware it never happens and it probably never will or it will and it'll happen because they decided to finally kind of take off the rose tinted glasses and this is one instance of it anyway Let's get to the story. ESPN UFC, jo jo UFC star John Jones rested on misdemeanor domestic violence charge in Las Vegas. Um, it says the following. Da, 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 da. It says here, yeah, UFC star John Jones. Da, da, da. Jones is being charged with a misdemeanor battery, domestic violence, injuring or tampering of a vehicle. A felony officer, Larry Hadfield of the Las Vegas Metro PD, told ESPN. He is currently being held at Clark County Detention Center, according to online inmate records. His, t his total bail is 8000 but Jones is on a 12 of our hold per records he's scheduled to have his first appearance early called uh, la uh, las vegas court at saturday at 1 30 p.m john was arrested at 5 44 a.m which is never a good time to get arrested because it generally means you're up again on it you know a bit on the on the old sniff sniff on the friday at a resort in las vegas boulevard flamingo road hadfield it's hard to bring this guy to las vegas for any reason um this city is not good for John Jones. Here we are again, says Dana Jones. Says Dana White, sorry. Um, White said, it's not even shocking anymore. When we bring him here, it's almost expected. We can't even get him to Las Vegas for less than 12 hours and induct him into the Hall of Fame. It's a problem. This guy's got a lot of demons, man. A lot of demons. So, of course, right? He's meant to get inducted into the flipping UFC Hall of Fame. It's going to be a big deal. Um, the first time I've obviously done that kind of thing. And he goes to Las Vegas. And whatever happens in Las Vegas stays in Las Vegas. And then, boom. Jones' advisor, Richard Schaffner, told ESPN's Mark Koppinger Mark Koppinger the facts are developing we really didn't know yet the full story so I'm not going to make any comment until I have a chance to talk to John until we have this no notice how this plays out Jones 34 regarded perhaps as the best UFC fighter of all time he held the UFC light heavyweight title for the better part of nine years and has never truly been beaten in the cage his only career loss was a via controversial disqualification but the Albuquerque New Mexico native has been in trouble several times outside of the octagon including a felony hit and run arrest and two failed drug tests Jones has been bulking up for a return to heavyweight wanting to add another title to his collection he told he's been on Tuesday night before the UFC Hall of Fame ceremony that he weighed 255 pounds and was looking to bulk up to two for his heavyweight debut. Jones, a 2013 fight with Alexander Gufferson was inducted in the Oyster Hall of Fame on Thursday night during a ceremony at the Park MGM. So, you know, clearly got his demons, clearly got his issues and is clearly never going to figure it out until he decides to figure it out. And I think most people in life are like this, but we just tend to get ourselves wrapped up in this fantasy that somehow if we hear a certain word for a certain person we listen to a certain video we get this certain quote in our head we say this mantra um we bump into that person that person introduces us network no 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 you're never gonna figure it out until you figure it out you're never gonna make the change until you make the change um no amount of wake up calls is gonna be enough you have to decide what the wake up call is it, again it'll be much beneficial to not have those crazy wake up calls where you get fired from a place or you you know you lose a relationship or or you get excommunicated from your friendship group. You don't want those kind of catch off fingers for you to make a change. You want to be able to make a change ahead of time. Be proactive. Don't be reactive. But unfortunately, most humans, we only learn until we get severely burnt. And this is another example of it. So, you know, hopefully John Jones figures it out and gets to where he needs to get to. Because I still selfishly want to see him fight at heavyweight and see him compete at that level. 
and see if he can kind of recapture the magic of him you know during the early times of him being a light heavyweight and looking amazing so far he's kind of kind of if full it feels like father time is caught up with Jundra a little bit he's not the most exciting and kind of eye-catching fighter to watch as much as in the cage anymore he's still dominating he's still freakishly good in terms of being able to beat up most guys and being a person a lot of people want to avoid but his fights are a lot closer than what they need to be nowadays he's getting tested by people who shouldn't be getting tested with and again once he goes to heavyweight with the extra power the extra size and of course the var variety and different competitions he has there from the from, from the Francis Ngannos to the Stipe Miocic I really want to see him compete at that level but unfortunately it looks like it's going to be delayed somewhat maybe indefinitely who knows who knows